Zany friends, I'm Lainey. I am Marshall. And today we're talking about Hunger Games, which has been out for a while, but I just recently read it as part of the book club that I'm in. They're doing like a buddy read thing, so I decided I was going to read it again. Marshall has read the book in the past or listened, I think you did on I did an audiobook, audiobook a long time. But you're familiar with it, you know, we have the movie, so you know, it's yeah. kind of the same. So Hunger Games, if you are not familiar, is the story in kind of a dystopian young adult book that talks about uh, Katniss, where society has decided that every year they're going to have tributes, one boy, one girl, from each section of the, I think it's the United States. It's a fictional world, actually, right. but it's so close to being the it United is. States. It is. So they pick one boy, one girl, uh, to represent each district in The Hunger Games, a fight to the death, only one person comes out alive every year. And it's a very traumatic thing, especially because the capital doesn't send anybody, and so they get yeah. to watch it, and it's like this big fun circus. So Katniss volunteers for her sister, who is the, fir it's the first time she's been entered in The Hunger Games, so Katniss decides to step in and take her place. And the first book really, I think, identifies this whole series. It is three books. But the other reason why we're reading this is that there is a fourth book coming out this year. It's actually come a prequel that is about the life of the president of the, the districts. His name is President Snow. He's not a good guy. The prequel is about him, so that's another reason why I'm reading it all the way through, so that I can get more of a background. While it sounds very morbid, it's actually a very... <sighs> It's a really interesting book. The, the the connections and the relationship, there are some mind games that are played, but not a lot. It is a kind of a mystery element too, because you don't know how she is going to make it out alive. It's an action-y, survivalist kind of book. I, I do mm -hmm. enjoy it a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like how it has those all those survival elements. I like how it's very action-y, but it keeps you grounded in this character's feelings of the people that she cares about. Mm -hmm. That's what it's really all about. So for me personally, I give it four stars because I have read it quite a few times and like I said, I have the movie, so I give it four stars. It's very well written and it, you know, people really enjoy it, reading it over and over again, so I think it's four stars. Right. Thank you so much for watching our review of Hunger Games. We will be doing Catching Fire and Mockingjay as well. Those are coming. Until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.